Hi, Dennis. This is Adrian Park. Uh, uh, Jim Ellsmer just uh, reached out to me, and I'm saddened to learn of the circumstances of your uh, early retirement. Um, in thinking of just some comments I might make, I've, I've gone through the list or perused some of the uh, comments of your colleagues uh, that are already uh, on this site, and I trust you and your family are, are very much encouraged and affirmed by the comments, and some really uh, consistent themes uh, are emerging from all quarters uh, regarding uh, the man you are, the uh, mentor, the colleague um, uh, that uh, you have been throughout your career. And, um, and again, I just trust these are uh, encouraging and, and affirming for you and, and for your family. Uh, many of the folks who have commented uh, know you better than I do, have spent more time with you, but as I reflect, I'm not sure that a lot of them have actually known you longer than I have. Um, and uh, I think, surprisingly, not infrequently, to the, the circumstances of where, where we first met, and I'm pretty sure that it was in one of the very earliest of the fellows conferences that I put on with uh, Todd Henneford many years ago, and I think you um, were one of the, uh, the fellows that uh, represented McGill back in uh, 2000 or 2001. And as you remember, this is a, uh, it was a big gathering of about 80 to 100 uh, fellows, the best and brightest young emerging surgical leaders from all across North America. And I remember you stood out in that meeting. One of the ways that you did was when you first introduced yourself because you had to say something about yourself up on the stage um, so we could keep folks straight over the next few days. And you made some comment about your prior professional life or as a grad student or something, I think you were in Winnipeg or somewhere, and you resigned because uh, of reasons of personal uh, moral outrage over somebody, some boss making you design some new form of decaffeinated coffee, some, something to that effect. And uh, we all had a bit of a laugh, but in your very kind of understated and dry humorous way, uh, we saw there was a spark in there. and. Um, and of course, we've worked on things over the years. We uh, uh, slogged through that uh, hernia task force uh, work together for a while. And in my um, brief time in Halifax, uh, I just so appreciated uh, your welcoming way and your support. And um, what a great uh, uh, colleague you were to me then. I always look forward to catching up with you um, at uh, the college or sages or whatever opportunity we have um, through the course of the year. So I, I simply uh, uh, would echo what I know of you that, uh, that you have heard from, uh, from uh, so many of your, your friends and colleagues here. I often tell um, young surgeons that uh, uh, a surgeon's, anybody's legacy is not in the things that you write or the things that you invent or describe, all of those are important, but all of them have a shelf life. Uh, your legacy is found in people and in your investment in people, and there's no shelf life uh, in that regard. And this is what you are hearing uh, from these other videos today. So um, I uh, wish you uh, continued courage and comfort, and uh, I wish this to your, your family as well. And I do hope we have a chance to uh, have a beer or a coffee uh, again um, uh, sometime in the future, um, but uh, um, our thoughts and our prayers truly uh, are with you and your family at this time.